The most important thing for an artist, mixer, producer to develop is confidence. How do you develop confidence when you're unknown and you haven't made it yet? And maybe you got no accolades to show for your work. The first thing you do is you must trust yourself. Trusting yourself and maybe if you have a producer working on a project with you, you trust the producer. If you have a mixer you trust, you trust him. But between you and your decision making as the artist and the person that you're working with, that's where it stays. You don't rely on outside opinions from other people that are just listeners. Even if you consider them listeners you respect, listeners that may be also in the business, not relevant. For an artist to have their own true identity, they must make their own decisions. If you rely on someone else's opinion to tell you if things are good or bad, let me just tell you what you're really doing. Everybody's opinion is based on their feelings, their emotions that day, what they heard before, what the what their wife said to them, what their brother said, what their girlfriend said, how if they're sad, if they're happy, if they got enough sleep, if they ate yet, if they their opinions are going to be all over the place. And if you as the artist or mixer or whoever you are, if you think that you can rely on their opinions, then you're just going to be like a flag blowing in the wind because every single person is not going to like your stuff. You might as well get this understood. Trying to get people to like your stuff, everyone, is impossible. Great art divides the audience. Rick Rubin said that. It's an amazing quote. The great art, the best stuff, is a divide split of who likes it and who hates it. So you're never going to find people to just unanimously love your stuff. If you were to listen to opinions after you were done making something, you finished your song, you got it mixed, mastered, now you wait a month and then you get you play it for a bunch of people and you know a bunch of people liked it, some people tell you something should change in it. If you were to jump because they say jump, these people that aren't you, so they're not a part of the project, they just have an opinion. What you wind up doing is basically making it where you can never build self-confidence, ever. Because it's also, it's no longer your work. It's no longer your thought process and your decision making that went into this final product. Now it's theirs. Now you're letting them control what you do and the outcome of your life and your decision and your project that you believe in, care about, probably invested money in, invested tons of time, whereas this person's just giving you a flippant opinion. That's what they're doing. Just an opinion. In other words, they're not willing to put up serious money because they believe in you and now you got to listen to them. And if they were, they'd be a record label if you think about it. But they ain't doing that. They're just giving you an opinion. So why would you put any stock in that? You know what that's like? It's like you go to a fancy restaurant with a famous cook who's, who's he's a, he's an amazing chef. Cook ain't the right word, right? Great chef. You go in the kitchen and you tell him, hey, you know that famous dish you make? Why don't you put a little more garlic in it? I think it needs more garlic. Can you do that? What do you think the chef would tell you? He'd tell you to go scratch, is what he would tell you. You get a famous painter. This applies in all artistic professions where there is no right and there is no wrong. That's the point. What do you go to a painter and say, hey, Picasso, I love what you're doing, but add some orange to it. I think it needs more orange. You think they're going to listen? Like, what makes you think making music's any different than that? It's exactly the same. You'll have people who tell you this should change and this should change. They ain't you. This is actually also a reason why bands have such a hard time sometimes getting finished with a project. When you get a lot of different people all contributing to the thought process of yes or no or yes or no, it often stalemates. But in, it's just harder to get to an end goal. Often bands have to sort of, they're compromising in order to get to an end goal that they like. But it's really tough, especially if you're the mixer and people come to you with mixed like revisions. I can't tell you. It's been a thing where like you'll get a drummer's mix revisions, you'll get the singer, you'll get the guitarist. That doesn't work 
because one guy will tell you to make his part louder and the other guy will tell you to make his part lower and, and everything's conflicting with itself. There needs to be one point person within a band that gives the revisions. It can't be everybody giving revisions. You guys need to come together, make your set of revisions on a list, concise, and then that's what you got to get done. Otherwise, it winds up being a thing of everybody wants themselves to be louder. I mean, it's a little ridiculous. So this is something I want you to realize that is so critical to getting to the end goal that you want, which is number one, you want to develop confidence in what you can do. You will never, ever succeed at that if you listen to what everybody says who's an opinion around you, because every single human being's got opinions. Everyone. So what are you going to try to make everybody happy? No, you make decisions and you stick with your decisions and then something great may happen and you live with that and then that's you you decided that you and whoever worked on it maybe it was a producer who helped you maybe it was a mixer who helped you whoever you guys made decisions and now that's the product and you have yourself to thank for it and you develop confidence whereas if you listen to other people what are you going to always listen to other people about all your stuff no chef would do that who's successful no painter who's successful is going to listen to how much orange they you some outsider thinks should be in the painting doesn't matter if it's another famous painter he wouldn't care a good enough confident enough person at what they're doing doesn't care about the outside opinions so build this within yourself and do not care what outside opinions think what you care about is what you think and anyone else who's directly involved with the project that's all you got to worry about. And when decisions are made, you'll stick with them. And trust me, you'll be way better off because it may not even be this one, but you'll be developing confidence. And then sooner or later, you won't even feel like you're out of control of your own destiny. You'll feel like you're in control of it because you are the decision maker who decided on yada and yada, and now we are here. As opposed to the other way, you're never the decision maker. You're always waiting around for other people to influence your art. No one has been a successful artist who does that. There's no focus groups for great musicians. That's not the kind of music anybody wants to listen to. If every opinion mattered, we would never have all the amazing music we have. The reason we have it is because the opinions that mattered were directly related to the project. That's what was in control of what was happening in order to get to the end goal. And there's plenty of music out there we love. And if the world could have been asked about everything, who knows what we would have and how terrible it would be. So leave you guys with that. Do me a favor. I know this isn't one-sided. Throw something in the comments that has anything to do with this or something else you want me to make a video on. I appreciate it. We'll talk about it. I'll see you in the comments. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Evan Jaffe, Custom Cut Studios. Develop the confidence. You got this. Take it easy.